Hello and welcome back to the Women's Football Chat. Today we're going to be talking about Manchester City getting knocked out of the Women's FA Cup. Big game happened on Sunday. We'll talk about the other FA Cup games in a moment. Let's start with the game we're highlighting though. How on earth did City get knocked out? Wow. I mean, this is why football is a funny sport sometimes because City were one minute away from the FA Cup semi-finals and then Beth England scored, it went to penalties and Rebecca Spencer with two phenomenal saves Tottenham are through. What a shock. City just again just showed they just couldn't kill off a team. Yeah. They got the first goal and they just couldn't push on from that. And eventually that came back to bite them very late on in the game. Very tight margins, but they're out and that is a big damper on their season. It can pass what's been a really tough week for City. At the start of the week, it was actually really positive news as they announced that they were they negotiated a new contract and Gareth Taylor would be staying until 2027. I think Taylor's quite a good manager. I think that's quite a good move. Good way to start the week. Since then, just gone downhill. Wednesday night was a tough... Thursday night was a tough one for City. Obviously, it's a difficult game against Chelsea, but I actually thought they probably should have done better in that yeah. game. Chelsea didn't have a lot of chances, but they they took the one they did have. So, yeah, frustrating evening for City on Thursday night, getting knocked out of the Conti Cup. Coming into the Adobe FA Women's, Women's FA Cup mm. action, they'd have been hoping to get a positive result here to really boost the spirits after that difficult game against Chelsea, especially considering we don't have a, a league fixture until the mm. weekend. And it just didn't didn't come out that way. It didn't happen for them. And I think there'll be a bit of frustration there for City. I think there'll be a bit of disappointment as well because this now means that one shot of a trophy is the WSL. Now, of course, they are level with Chelsea at the moment, but it's it's a tight title race. Yeah. Anything can change in an instance. So City have got a, are in a bit of trouble, I'd say now, of, yeah. of winning nothing this year again. Well, that's the thing. And it's a, it's a really tough one because we thought Monday morning, oh, Gareth Tays on a new contract. City on for the treble. And we've got to the Monday afterwards and City can only win the WSL now. That yeah. is, it, it was such, when you put it like that, it was such an awful week for City. Yeah, I think you can justify Terrible. losing to Chelsea, but the Tottenham result should never have happened. That yeah. should have been a much more comfortable victory and they should be into the semi-finals of the FA Cup. I think it's it represents what has been quite common actually with City over the last few years is that inability to get the job yeah. done they won nothing last season for that same reason they've won nothing this season they didn't reach a final last season and they won't reach a final this season yeah. so it has and despite you know they've had a really strong squad Kadir Shaw's one golden boot well one golden boot last season is going to win it this season let's be honest in the WSL so it's not like they've not been really good so what mm. what's going wrong for City yeah, it's just that lack of Turning up on the big day, what would you put it down to? Because it is a really weird one, because like the FA Cup, they'd already knocked out Arsenal. They knew that all they had to do was get to the final and then try to beat Chelsea on their on the yeah. day, which is possible. But then, as you say, that inability to kill a game off, the Brighton game, they had chance after chance earlier this season, didn't score a single goal, Brighton scored one, won the game 1-0. You know, again, just the inability to find the back of the net and kill the game off. Saturday, Sunday against Tottenham, the positive, Mary Fowler actually got to kick a football for once in a game. Yeah. But she scored after, what, six minutes? They then yeah. had 84 minutes, didn't score a single goal. And then Tottenham went, all right then, thank you very much, and went and made it 1-1. What's the City team missing? Is it a simple fact of experience? Is it a simple fact of quality? Is it a mixture of few it's factors? Really what what would you could he, say? Sure. That front three should bang in goals for fun. I, I think, think Kelly's been a bit quiet this season. She has been. She has been. And with Jill Rod's injury, they may have like. But Jess yeah. Park is a capable footballer. And, you know, Laura Coombs, whoever's in oh, there, Coombs Mary Fowler, all of them can come in and play really well. There's and, no excuse yeah. to the fact they only scored one on Sunday. And they've got Angle Dahl in there. They've got uh, Yui Hasegawa mm. in there. So it's not like they've got a weak midfield. The defence has been very good. They've got uh, Ua Harby, yeah. Greenwood. Um, Alexandri and of course Kasper Keating. It's not a bad team at all. No. I question whether it is a little bit young. They've got a lot of young players. They haven't got. Well, it's not even. It's not just young in the sense that they are young players. It is young in the sense that they've not won a lot. Mm. You've not got many yeah. players there that have won a lot. You've got a couple um, players for England that have obviously won the Euros quite recently. But Kadija Shaw's not won anything. No. Uh, what point. was she there for City's FA Cup win in twenty twenty? Was it when... I think that was the year City won. It was 2020 or 2021. But it's, it maybe but is. They've not won a lot, these City players. Maybe you're right, because maybe in that Tottenham game, 
in that, oh, yes, they didn't score the goals, but in that last minute, maybe it's just having that kind oh, of... Well, look who scored for Tottenham. Exactly. Beth England. Yeah. She's won low, more of yourselves than you can yeah. count on one hand. She, uh, probably. What, she's won what <laughs> Arsenal, so many goals. What Arsenal have done so well is that even when Chelsea have dominated, Arsenal still nicked, like last year, Chelsea didn't put a foot wrong, Arsenal still managed to win a League Cup. Or yeah. Arsenal might win an FA Cup. They beat Chelsea in that exactly. one game. Yeah. Exactly. Whereas City just... Even I know Chelsea are dominating really well, but Arsenal managed to find trophies here and there for a bit of success. City are struggling to do that, and I think I think the City fans are just a bit worrying to have Gareth Taylor sign that new deal and then be knocked out of both cup competitions, and now you are solely relying on the league, which, to be fair, they are still joint top of. But I just I, I don't know. I still think they're against the odds because Chelsea exists. Yeah. It, it, and, to, and to not even make Europe, yeah. obviously they didn't qualify. Mm. They didn't finish top three last season. I, I think that was a big miss out yeah. as well. I, they have not had a really a European you, run to speak of yet. Is it surprising that, um, that they would sign Gareth Taylor's new deal at this point? Because for me, A, you'd at least wait until after the both cup games. For me, I'd wait until the end of the season. Is it? So well, I was, I'm not sure what his contract Good, situation know, was like. Yeah, if it was, yeah, if it, it was this summer, you'd have thought that would be renewed earlier. So it's, uh, yeah, it's an interesting one. I do think it was odd timing, though. Perhaps it was to show stability mm. before the cup cup games, but that went well. Well, exactly. It's not come off for them. Is Gar- I like Gatel. I think he's a good manager. I think City have done some really interesting stuff this season. But is he the man to win them a WSL? Because the problem is that side should be win a trophy every year. But next season with Chelsea not having him a Hayes, there's a lot of unknown there. I do think that's a better, that's a good chance for Taylor's Anything side to do something. Everything we're saying now might be complete bollocks if in a couple of months' time they've won the WSL title. Well, exactly that, yeah. So that's the thing. And, and But we sat there a week ago going sit here on for the treble. They're very much, It's yeah. such a tough sport, football, eh? Tough sport. Changes every week, but overall not good enough, really. Yeah. Shall we uh, talk about Tottenham? Because I don't think we've really paid them much yeah. kudos in this video because they deserve they deserve their respect. They took on Man City, who've been one of the strongest sides in the women's game this season, who currently joint top of the WSL. Should have been in, you know, going deep yeah. into the cups. Very good side, and Tottenham beat them on pens. Now it's not a perfect result, but it's a big result for them. And we saw it earlier in the season when they beat Arsenal. It's a really momentous moment for Tottenham because it's they've taken years to get here. They spent a, a bit of money this year. There's a bit of ambition there. Robert Villaham yeah. comes in and a lot of expectation comes with that. But that Arsenal game laid a mark that they are going to take this seriously now. They're taking the women's team seriously. They're investing in it. They want to win stuff. I think this game against City furthers that. Yeah, 100%. You know, Villaham has got his side playing some really nice stuff and what they've done is they have a brilliant balance. They have their wonderful, up-and-coming, incredible talents, like your Grace Clintons. But they also have... Matilda Bimberg is just exactly, added in exactly. January. And, but they've balanced that with the Beth Englands in there and with the Kit Grahams, who have the experience of the league. As you say, Beth England knows what it takes to win a trophy. And that helped yeah. them on Sunday. She grabbed that goal in the last minute. And then penalties, again, that experience to have the nerve to step... Rebecca Spencer, superb. She was brilliant in the 90 minutes, even better in the penalty shootout with two phenomenal yeah. saves. I mean, we questioned a few weeks ago, I think it was last weekend actually, wasn't it, yeah. why, why they'd brought Spencer back into the fold given the performances of Barbara Votikova. But I think we saw this weekend why. Because yeah, Rebecca 100%. Spencer, despite having a difficult start to this campaign, is a very capable goalkeeper. And that yeah. was proven as so last weekend. Yeah, and I mean... You talk about Tottenham as yes, they've spent the money, yes, they've put the investment in and they've put the effort. What a statement it would be if they did manage to somehow win this FA Cup. Well, that's what I was going to say. They're now a win against... I've, well, it depends who they draw, of course. We haven't seen the draw yet. They'll play either United, Chelsea or Liverpool. No, Leicester. Leicester would Liverpool, wouldn't they? Exactly. Sorry. So, if they draw Leicester, you'd expect that to be a shoe-in for the their, final, I, I have to say. is to get Leicester... Beat Leicester, and then hope that United hope to beat Chelsea. God, that Mark Skinner's mustered up Sam. Or hope either, to God, that's do, happened. Do, do, yeah, if, you get, if you get to the final and you get Chelsea, it's Wembley. You know what's going to happen. They're serial winners and they're very experienced, but who knows? But <laughs> who knows? Do, do you know Nobody could get. Play the game to its strength. You know that you might have the edge on penalties. 
Equally, Hallahampton was a very good goalkeeper, maybe you don't. <laughs> so Chelsea are quite good offence. If you make it through for any other side, I think we, but what we're basically saying is that Chelsea won the FA Cup. Well, this is a good round. Next question. Who are the favourites from the FA Cup? Undoubtedly, it's Chelsea. How likely? I mean, Opta would probably put it at 90% yeah. right now. I, I'm stupid I, like For that. me, I, I would say 90%. And then it's Tottenham. Uh, and then it's Leicester. And I, then it's Man United. Just because I don't think Skinner's got the bottle enough. If he gets to Wembley, he will shit himself. Well, he did. Last yeah. year, he didn't shit himself as far as I'm aware. Didn't do very well, did it? I lost one 0 because Sam Kerr scored, then did a backflip. Yeah, so and they're not as good as they were last year. But we don't have Sam Kerr. Yeah, but we've got Cap Cap McCarthy. Yeah, that's the way. That's yeah, sad. Yeah, the Chelsea think... one, you don't know. <laughs> I honestly, I backed Tottenham to win the FA Cup over Man United. That won't happen though. That's not going to be the final, is it? It's going to be no. Chelsea. <laughs> Chelsea Leicester. I think if Tottenham could, if Tottenham draw United or Leicester. For me, I think they should be making a good go of it and getting to that FA Cup final. Yeah. Less is another thing to touch on. Because I don't think there's much to talk about with Chelsea. You know, they they beat Everton. Well done. Well done. Um, to their time. Yeah. But Cat McCurry, of course. Yeah, we love Cat McCurry. Uh, United, they battered... Brighton. Brighton, who cares? Leicester, yeah. what a result. Because for me, I'd expect Liverpool to win it. But for Leicester and Tottenham to both be here in the F- semi-final... You know, define the odds because realistically, it should be now on that the semi finals would be Chelsea, United, City, Arsenal. But it's, it's not. It's something that we've not seen. It's a phenomenon we've not really seen yet in the women's game. We, you know, it's it's pan, it's bounded around and and overused really in in the men's game. The magic of the FA Cup. It provides so many upsets. The FA Cup. We see great stories. I mean, even this season in the men's FA Cup, we saw was it Maidstone. Maidstone. That was I was going to say Boston. Maidstone getting all the way to the fourth round. Fifth, fifth round. round it's incredible stories like that and that transforms clubs we've not really seen that in the women's game yet but we're seeing it a little bit here with a Leicester side that aren't really the big players in the in the WSL but cons- a consequence of Arsenal drawing City and getting knocked out City then getting knocked out by Tottenham and Leicester playing really well against Liverpool and suddenly get into a semi-final if they were to draw a Tottenham or United I could see them reaching the final it's not impossible yeah. they draw Chelsea it I mean, probably is but it's a, I, you know, hats off again to Leicester for getting this far of a brilliant performance against Liverpool. Actually, when is the draw? Or is, it hasn't I'm not sure. As, well, it may well have been done by the time this goes out, in which case you guys will have more information, and I'm sure the comment section we've followed with, oh, United are going to beat Chelsea, in which case you are wrong. So... I think you health checked if that's what you <laughs> But yeah, it's, uh, it's going to be interesting to see who wins the FA Cup. I mean, we've hedged our bets on Chelsea, but let's see. Yeah. Turning our attention back towards next weekend and we're looking forwards really. This weekend, Chelsea versus Arsenal. City play whom? I want to say Everton. I don't think it's Everton. I can't remember now, top of my head. It's no. two weeks, to be fair. No, Is it? It's, it's this weekend. weekend, I was going to say. Okay, my bad. All over the place <laughs> at the moment. Um, but yeah, I think... This is, this is a massive weekend for City. They have yeah. to win. Hope Arsenal take points off Chelsea. But City... I Especially think, with the Manchester Derby coming me, up next weekend. Yeah, for me, they have to win the double south. They they mm. have, they need to. Yeah. They can't go this. I look at that city side. They can't go trophyless. There is no excuses. They did last year to go trophyless. Exactly, and that was horrific. They can't do it again. <laughs> but, you, but you'd think two trophyless seasons without a, a, a cup final. How does Gareth Taylor keep his job after that? I don't know. I think the biggest issue, I don't think he's sacked for me because the market is so volatile. Yeah. I mean, I don't really see who comes into that role. You know, we could see a swap of jobs at the WSL. What on earth to point, move them all around for a laugh. I think the other thing is, obviously, Europe. If they get Europe, what can they do in Europe? Got to. Year? They've got to be getting into the Champions League proper. Sorry, but it's like they United this year. And Arsenal this year in the court in the qualifiers, embarrassing. Yeah, and Arsenal knocked out by Paris FC, United by PSG. Yeah, United, I can understand a bit. Yeah, as you say, understand a bit more, but ah, still, come on. I'd expect to see more than one English side in the Champions League. Really would. I would as well. And that for me has got to be City. Arsenal, I don't know. I don't. Well, it depends if City are in the title. They're yeah. automatically there, aren't they? In yeah. which case, Chelsea yeah. will join them, so we will see two teams. I think we could be. But I, for me, I, I think City, they now need a trophy. They need a trophy. Yeah, there's a lot of importance on this Friday as well. Of course, Chelsea Arsenal will be live for it. So do join us here. I don't, I'm not sure Same what time season. we'll be live from because I'd like to do half an hour of build up, but that might make it a little bit difficult given the time of kickoff. So we'll see. But um, we'll either be live 15 minutes or 30 minutes before kickoff. 
should be an interesting, should be a really interesting game. Obviously, it's going to have major ramifications for the rest of the season. And yeah, I'm very excited for it. I hope you guys are as well. So join us there, because obviously if Arsenal do win it, City has a chance to go three points clear. Arsenal would go level with Chelsea. And the title race takes another huge twist. At that point, City would have to win, Paige. They don't have some better. Then Taylor's on, on the arse. <laughs> I mean, what happens if Arsenal win and City lose? It's a everyone's on level. Crazy no, things. Oh, that. That'd be mental. But yes, that is what we have planned for this weekend. In the meantime, you can check out our content across this channel. We'll have Premier predictions, not Premier predictions, WSL predictions. Sorry, out on Friday as always. We'll be predicting all six of the WSL games, and of course, twice live Friday night, Chelsea versus Arsenal. But if you want to keep watching, then there's going to be a video on screen now covering Harry's face, where we talk about Jim Ratcliffe and Manchester United and what this means for the Manchester United women's side with his takeover. So go click that and keep watching. But that's everything from us today. Thank you guys very, very much for watching, and we'll see you next time. See ya.